Are you wondering how to start an LLC in Massachusetts? Today, you will learn about the most common ways to start your business, including the correct forms you'll need, how to register your LLC, critical naming requirements, and all other vital tips and tricks. Then, as a bonus later in the video, I will reveal a trustworthy registered agent who will help set up your LLC for free. So make sure to stick with me until the end. The state of Massachusetts, like other states, has several specific LLC requirements. There are three main ways you can start an LLC in Massachusetts. First is the DIY or do-it-yourself process where you mostly depend on Massachusetts State's website. The second way is hiring a professional service that practically offers more efficiency and security in the process of creating your LLC, while the third one is hiring an attorney. We will skip the attorney hiring portion because that's expensive and most business owners won't need that service. First, let's take a look at the steps required for starting an LLC on your own. Step 1. Choose a name for your Massachusetts LLC. Under Massachusetts law, an LLC name must contain the words Limited Liability Company, Limited Company, or the abbreviations LLC, LC, LLC, or LC. The name may contain the name of a member or manager of the LLC. Your LLC's name cannot be deceptively similar to the names of other business entities already on file with the Secretary of the Commonwealth Corporations Division. Names may be checked for availability by searching the Massachusetts Name Database. You may reserve a name for 60 days by filing an application for reservation of name. The filing fee is $30. The reservation can be extended by an additional 60 days by paying an additional $30 fee before the initial 60-day period expires. The application must be filed by mail with the Secretary of the Commonwealth Corporations Division. Step 2. Massachusetts requires LLC to have a registered agent. Every Massachusetts LLC must have an agent for service of process in the state. This is an individual or business entity that agrees to accept legal papers on the LLC's behalf if someone sues the company. A registered agent can be an individual who resides in Massachusetts, or a domestic or foreign corporation authorized to do business in Massachusetts. If it's a corporation, its articles must authorize it to act as an agent. The registered agent must have a physical street address in Massachusetts. Step 3. File Articles of Organization with the Massachusetts Secretary of State. After that, you must file the Certificate of Formation with the Massachusetts Secretary of State's Business Entities, Division, and the Office of the Judge of Probate to officially incorporate a domestic Massachusetts limited liability company. The Massachusetts state filing cost for LLCs is $500 for both domestic LLCs and for foreign LLCs. Basically, a domestic LLC means that you are already a resident of Massachusetts and you want to build a business in Massachusetts. Foreign LLC on the other hand, is for people living outside Massachusetts but wanting to start a business or a franchise of their business in Massachusetts. With that said, most businesses would be applying for a domestic LLC. You can file the Certificate of Formation online or by mailing it to the Secretary of State. Expect the LLC certification process to take approximately two weeks. This is three to four days for the judge of probate and 10 days for the secretary of state. Step 4. Prepare an operating agreement. Now an operating agreement is a good idea to have in place with the other members if your LLC has more than one member. Although a limited liability company operating agreement is not necessary for Massachusetts, your operating agreement should clarify how your company or business will handle big-picture issues such as allocating earnings and losses, and dissolving the company. Your operating agreement should also cover the transfer of membership interest, profits or losses and distributions, initial investments, decision-making powers, voting rights, and management, and, lastly, dissolving the business. Step 5. Of file Annual Reports all LLCs doing business in Massachusetts must file an annual report with the Secretary of the Commonwealth Corporations Division. Domestic LLCs file a limited liability annual report. Foreign LLCs file a foreign limited liability annual report. 
the report must contain the same information as the Certificate of Organization. The report must be filed by the LLC's anniversary date. The report can be filed online or by mail. The filing fee is $500. Step 6. Obtain an EIN. An EIN or Employer Identification Number is a federal tax ID issued by the IRS. Your EIN is used by them to readily identify your firm and tax filings. All Massachusetts firms pay a business privilege tax and the state requires you to have an EIN to file. You may also be required to provide your EIN when opening a bank account or applying for municipal permits or licenses. Obtaining an EIN is a slightly longer process compared to their previous steps. I'm sure you know anything to do with the IRS is confusing. First, you have to have complete knowledge of your LLC, such as your company information, managing member information, business address, business information, company details, and even critical information regarding vehicular assets and federal excise taxes. This is another reason why getting a professional registered agent is way more convenient, as they can do this for you as part of their service. Now, let's talk about the second option to form an LLC, and that is hiring a professional formation service. Professional formation services do all the steps you should be doing on your own from filing necessary forms to acting as your registered agent. You usually have to allocate a specific budget for this option. As I already mentioned earlier, Inkfile is one of the best companies out there to help you form your LLC. You can click on the link in the description to get access to this deal. Inkfile is one of a kind as it offers a free package with services such as preparing and filing your articles of organization. Well, you still have to pay $237 for the state fees, which you would have to do anyway if you chose the DIY option. But looking at the bigger picture, all other companies will still charge their service fee on top of state filing fees. Inc. File does not collect this fee. This plan already includes a free registered agent for your first year of subscription and $119 annually moving forward if you decide to continue the service after the first year. Inc. File's next packages are the gold and platinum packages which both have package fees already on top of the $237 state fee. Each package has its own set of services which are all worthy of the subscription you are paying for. The gold package offers you the benefits of filing reports and taxes for your LLC. Every year, USA LLCs are required to file a state annual report. This report is essentially an information update of your file so that the state knows who is now in charge and how to contact your company. USA LLCs are also required to file state tax returns. To make matters even more complicated, your annual report and business privilege tax share a document and are due at the same time each year. With the Inc. Files Gold Package, you won't have to scribble notes of these reports because Inc. File will handle the whole process for you. Your Platinum Package also has these services in the bag with the unique addition of expedited filing, getting a domain name, and a business email which essentially increases your LLC's credibility. Inkfile also has an exclusive partnership with Bank of America so you can easily open an eligible checking account for your business. Yes, it is a must for your LLC to have a business account. Remember an LLC has limited liability, for it is a separate entity from its members. You may forfeit your liability protections if you combine your personal and business money, and this is where the term Piercing the corporate veil comes into play. Piercing the corporate veil is an LLC jargon that refers to the court's action to hold you as the owner or member of an LLC, personally liable for the LLC's debts or actions. Now, if you have been sued by some lawyer who sees a crack in your LLC, they might resort to piercing the corporate veil in which you are in any position defeated. This is why opening a separate bank account for your LLC is so important. Do you like the level of detail I'm providing you in my review so far? If yes, then make sure to let me know by liking my video and hitting that subscribe button for more high-quality business content.